Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to uh, discuss these four integrals uh, involving greatest integer function, right? So in our earlier videos, uh, we have already solved these type of integrals uh, in a detailed manner, right? But here I uh, will see how to find the values of these type of uh, integrals uh, using a direct result, right? So here I uh, will learn uh, how to uh, find the values of these kind of integrals uh, by using a direct formula. So now see, uh, here uh, we have the first integral 0 to infinity and greatest integer of e raised to minus x, right? And see, here we have 1 uh, as uh, uh, the natural number, right? So here uh, we have greatest integer of 1 multiplied e raised to minus x and 1 is the natural number. In the second integral, uh, we see that we have 2 as the uh, natural number multiplied with e raised to minus x. In the third integral, we have 3 as the natural number uh, multiplied with e raised to minus x. And similarly, here in the fourth integral, we have 10 as the natural number uh, multiplied with e raised to minus x. So in all these four integrals, uh, we see that uh, the integral is of the form uh, 0 to infinity and we have greatest integer of n times e raised to minus x where n is uh, the natural uh, number, right? So these four integrals are of this form. Uh, e raised to minus x is common in all these four integrals. Right? And n is the natural number. Right? So what will happen uh, when we come across with uh, this type of integral? Uh, then the value of this integral is uh, or it can be directly written as a log of n raised to n uh, divided by the factorial of n. Right? So the value of this integral can directly be written as logarithm of n raised to n divided by the factorial of n. So now with the help of this uh, formula we can find out the values of these four integrals. right? So in the first integral c uh, we have n is equal to uh, 1. right? In the second integral we have n is equal to 2. In the third integral we have n is equal to 3 and in the fourth integral we have n is equal to uh, 10 and so on. right? So all these are uh, natural uh, numbers, right? So the value of the first integral is the log of uh, n raised to n. So we have n1, so we have 1 raised to 1 divided by factorial of 1. So this is simply a log of 1 because 1 raised to 1 is 1 and factorial of 1 is 1 and log 1 is equal to 0, right? So the value of this integral is 0. Now in the second integral we have n is equal to 2. So the value of this integral is log uh, 2 raised to 2 divided by factorial of 2. Right? So this is a, a log of uh, 4 uh, divided by uh, 2. Right? 2 square is 4 and factorial of 2 is 2. So this is simply a log of 2. Right? So 2 to the 4. Right? Now in the third integral we have n is equal to 3 so the value of this integral is log and we have 3 raised to uh, 3 divided by factorial of 3 right. So here uh, we have uh, 3 raised to 3 is uh, 27 and uh, factorial of 3 is 6 right. So this can also be written as log of uh, uh, 3 9s and 3 2s. So this is log 9 over 2. Now similarly here we have n is equal to 10. So the value of log uh, of this integral is log uh, 10 raised to 10 which is a big number. So and in the denominator we have factorial of 10. Right. So we can uh, leave this result as such because here we have uh, the big numbers. So the value of this integral is log of 10 raised to 10 uh, divided by factorial of 10, right? 
So in this lecture, we have seen that how we can uh, directly find out the values of these type of uh, integrals uh, by making use of uh, this direct result, right? So in our earlier videos, we have uh, also solved these type of integrals uh, in a, a detailed manner or in the usual uh, manner. 